Welcome back everyone to the final part of Jungle Ruins. There's no boss in this game, you just grab your goodies and leave. So here we go. For now, we're just following the path. The doors will open for us, because we are awesome. So come on out onto the bridge. And let me just point out that uh, if you fall, it'll be a very fiery death. Also, it'll be a very crunchy death. Because that is a long way down, you would crunch anyway, so I'm not too certain why you get the idea of fire as well, but it's still pretty cool. And to the left there is a hatch there. We need to open that. That is the first order of business. And also, let me point out that as we've been playing, the night has fallen. So that's actually got no relevance to anything whatsoever. I think it's quite cool that as you progress through the game, it turns into night. So there were a couple of levels that were like evening and uh, you had like a, a pinky sky. I think that was level three. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, that was just a awesome little detail. Obvious spike trap is obvious. And there are some shotgun shells in the corner. Whoops. Now we've got a couple of more spike traps, so just be careful of those. And this lever is what will open that hatch. So I recommend saving simply because once we pull this lever, we will get a couple of fire wraiths coming after us. Okay, here we go. Ugh. So the easiest way to do this is just sort of do a U-turn and jump and aim. <laughs> and you don't want to stop moving because we've got this sea hag. So you want to go anti-clockwise around the room. I said clock rise. Lol. <laughs> and you will find this gap. Okay, so the sea hag does take off a lot of health. So if you're going to take damage anywhere, try not to let it be here. So this lever has opened the door so that we can leave. That's right down here. And the sea hag will follow you through here. But I don't think she follows you upwards up this bit. Okie dokie. So as we climb on out, we have a revolver and a laser sight. So that is a huge hint of something that's coming up. We also have some revolver bullets just there, just to make sure you've got some bullets. Okie dokie. So you can see there is a hatch there and we need to raise it. Uh, in the order to raise it, we need to shoot this. Okie dokie. So this isn't timed, you might assume, because we, you know, we're hovering over a pit. <laughs> Death might be imminent if we take too long, but no, it's not timed. So that's good. Now we'll follow the passage. There aren't many pickups in this level. This level is actually called Jungle Lake. So that's kind of cool. I love the name. <laughs> Uh, to the left there is a door, but that is a return path, so you can completely ignore it and come on through this way. Okay, so this is not the jungle lake. We will get there later. So the deal in this room is we've got six doors. One we came through. There's one in this corner. One in that corner just behind that column. You know, one in each corner, and then two in the center. That's that's the deal. And to open each door, you have to pull the levers in the correct combination. There's no hint, it's just a case of trial and error. So, um, the idea is to get a skull from each room. And we're going to place four skulls that we will be collecting in that room there. So I'm going to sort of go around the room 
and do these separate rooms in order. I will start with the one in front and then the one in that corner and then the one opposite and then the one over there. So the first door straight ahead we need levers one, three and five. Okie dokie. So come on in. You can see on the ceiling we've got some blades so you can easily just walk through not take any damage whatsoever. And also mind the spike traps. So here's the skull. Once we pick this up this grate will fall away and there will be a native. So this is the last level, so let's go crazy with the revolver. <laughs> okay, so just be aware that there is a spike trap in here and that native will like walk into you to push you into that. <laughs> so be aware of that, that's quite annoying. To get out of this room, we need to raise a block in the corner and we need to open the hatch. Both these things have separate levers and they are both timed. We firstly want to pull the lever on the right, just here. That's got a slightly longer time. And then this one, and you don't really have very much room for error. So be aware of that. Nice, so you just make that. Okie dokie, room one down. Okay, next room, over in the corner. I believe it's levers three and five. I'm trying to do this off the top of my head, so pull up lever one. Let's have a look, was I right? Yes, yes, yes. This room is simple enough. Is it a standing jump? <laughs> yes it is, I couldn't remember. So you want to firstly make your way to the other side. And we have this lever. Now if we have a look, we can see the doorway where we came from. And to the right of that, there is another section. So we can go into there. If we pull the lever, and then have a look, we can see that the slopes have actually changed direction. We can now reach that other section. I thought I was going to miss. You don't necessarily need to grab there, but I thought I was going to miss. Skull number two. To get out of here might take a few attempts. You need to aim for the right hand side of that slope. Try not to overshoot because it's very easy to overshoot. And you want to turn in the air and then veer to the left. So it can be tricky. So as you can see, it can be tricky. <laughs> it's very easy to overshoot. I didn't mean to hop back so many times. Oh, there we go. All right. So for the third room, um, I think it's lever five on its own. Is it? Yes, it is. So we've got a couple of ropes and they are pretty forgiving. Just try and line yourself up though. That's the only thing you need to do really. I don't know why I saved just there, I really didn't need to. <laughs> Never mind. You just need to do a sanding jump to this first one. 
So that's how close it is. And you don't need very much momentum, oh, as you can see, for the next one. Well, I suppose it's a good job I did save, really. So as you saw, you do not need very much momentum to reach the rope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Can't believe I messed up. Anyway, from this one, you do need quite a bit of momentum. Okay. And this tile that I've landed on is a trigger tile. It has turned off the fire that was on there. I assume that the fire could be to stop you sort of I don't know, jumping off the rope, maybe? I'm not too certain. But either way, that's where we need to jump to now. So a standing jump, and we would take a lot of fall damage. And we can collect the jungle skull. So picking that up has opened the door. So just here is the door we've opened. And there is a hatch that we need to open in that section. And this lever here will open that. But we will spawn a fire wraith once we pull this. So if you're playing along, you might want to go into the room just to see uh, where you need to run to. So, yeah, I really do recommend saving here simply because there is a wraith. Okay. So run to the right, down the hatch. You need to grab the edge. Took a bit of full damage because I think I didn't grab the edge. I'm trying to rush. So I did a roll simply to not be in the same position. I know that rolling does not um, save any kind of fall damage, but I rolled just to move from that position. So we've got a healing plant in the corner. And now we can leave. So we need to start climbing. Okay, so it's simple enough. <laughs> so here we've got a slope, so I would do a side jump here to the slope because you want to hit the slope a bit higher so you're better off being higher than lower because then you can grab the ladder much easier there we go so you heard a door open I assume that's the door up the top just here Okay, and back here we are. That is where we have, well, yeah, where we've returned from. <laughs> Such commentary today. I don't think the commentary's going down too good. <laughs> Okie dokie. So the last door, which is that one. So for that one, it's lever three on its own. So don't forget to pull up lever five. So all these rooms are relatively simple enough. <laughs> Such jumping. Okay, so we've got some shotgun shells just over in this corner, and we want to climb the side of this column. Huh. Huh. 
Okie dokie. So you can see that climbing up here has raised those two platforms. They are timed. The timer will start once we step off this column. So when you jump to this first one, you want to grab to the left because that gives you more room for a running jump to the next one. And then from there, you want to try and do the half tile jump into a corner that you can't actually see from here, but you'll see it when I'm there. So let's do this. So you want to grab the edge and then let go and immediately grab to cancel out her leg swings. Oh, do I have enough space? Yes, cool. So when you grab this skull, uh, it's a bit tricky and unforgiving. A fire wraith, <laughs> yes again, will come and chase us. Um, when you roll, I recommend you roll off the side in front of Lara, you know, on the opposite side of this pedestal. But you don't want to roll off the side. You want to be able to just roll to turn around and then hop back and grab the side. Because for some reason, she doesn't grab the side in a roll. So that's slightly annoying. But let's do this. So just sidestep, roll, hop back, let go, do a side jump, roll. <laughs> okay, now we're heading for water. We've got water straight ahead. All over here and brilliant <laughs> so uh, it's not easy to get rid of that wraith because Lara is not fully submerged in the water so she can be standing in the water and still get killed by that wraith so that's harsh <laughs> I think that's harsh but it's a nice challenge so right <laughs> from here we are going to place the four jungle schools we have and we want levers two and three for this door. So here's the other water I tried to mention in a hurry, but it's the same depth as the big water. <laughs> so it's not going to help any more than the other water. So when you come in here, left or right, doesn't matter because it's all one big room. So we can see where something will happen. And every time we place a skull, it will show us that. So I will take the liberty of pressing the look button so we don't have to keep looking at it. Okie dokie, so it's raised a block. So let's head on out and head on over. Okie doke, so here we are. Here's the block we've raised. Climb on up and see what's occurring. Okay, so up here we have a lever and we've got these columns that are on fire. The lever will put out the fire, but it's going to be timed. <laughs> so we want to get to the other side and I recommend, well no, it's not even a recommendation, you need your shotgun because there will be a skeleton that we have to knock off the edge. Okay, so pull it and you will need to do a four step. Oh, I messed up. Because I was talking, I couldn't talk and concentrate. Um, you will need to do a four step running jump. So I was counting my steps. Okay, so these ledges sometimes have to be perfect. If you miss, it's because you are a pixel out. So walk to this corner. Sometimes she doesn't get him if she's too far away. This jump. 
will be the one you will most likely miss. Grab in the air. Super duper. So that was pretty smooth. Whoops. So now just follow out. I'm bumping into every wall. And in this area, we have a campfire. And we have a door just on the left, up there. <laughs> Okay, we also have a lit fire, and in this corner, we have torches, and watch how she magically takes it with her right hand, and it appears in her left. That is quite some ability you've got there, Lara. Magic. Okay, so you want to light your torch, don't get too close. So it's pretty straightforward what we're doing here. Torch, fire, and then something else we need to light. <laughs> so that'll be this campfire here. Again, don't get too close. Nice, so we do not need the torch anymore. So lighting that has opened this door and we can pick up the jungle stone. Badass Tiger Gem. So picking that up has opened that door. We can quite clearly see that. <laughs> okay, heading on to the door. Through the door, rather. So be careful when you enter this section. This darker floor that looks like leaves will set you on fire. Be aware of that. So worried I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> okay, that was just in case. <laughs> so you want to jump to here and don't be too hasty in grabbing that zip line. We want to get this level's secret. The final secret of the game. So over to here, and I sometimes veer too far to the right on that jump, I don't know why. So we do have a bit of a trek to get to this secret. So come on round and climb into the, well not into the gap. <laughs> I'm messing up my commentary so badly today. You can see what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> Come on through and be careful of the spike trap. Okay, here's the secret. Again, be careful of the spike trap. So we have shotgun shells in the corner, we have a healing plant, and we have two pickups of Uzi ammo and the Wheezies. But the thing is, like, we do not have very much Uzi ammo at all, so that's disappointing. But anyway, now we have that. Hop over the gap and we can leave. If you were wondering what that door was for, now you know. So back through here, and now we can use the zip line. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall. <laughs> okay, grabbing the zip line and don't let go. Wee! It's a long zip line. Okay, so you got two sea hags in the water. You got this big rock in the center. I tend to go clockwise around the rock. There is nothing in the water. There are no pickups. So this is the jungle lake. And as we come around here, you can see above the water, there is a door in the wall. That's actually the exit. If we use that as kind of a, a landmark, if you come to here, this is the only place we can climb out. 
And I'm gonna give them sea hags a good what for with the Uzis. Where's the other one gone? Still alive, I know it. So, yeah, already run out of ammo, but... Oh. One shot with the revolver will eventually do him in. Okay. So, hop up here. And I've pointed out where the exit to the level is, but that door is currently closed. And we also do need to get just one item before we leave. That's over in that dark corner over there. So you don't even have to open the door now, but if you do it now, you will save a lot of backtracking. So just hop the gap. And over here, this is where we place the jungle stone and it will open the door. And we do get some scary music. I'm not sure why this music. <laughs> Nothing scary is happening. So don't worry. Don't panic. <laughs> okay, so now I'll climb back up and we are going to get that last item that we need. Gosh darn. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to fall again. Okie dokie. So, from here, we've got a slope there, and you want to slide down forwards and jump off at the end. You'll get a lot more distance. Because uh, a few times when I tried to slide backwards and just grab the edge, and then jump back from the slope, Lara really didn't want to grab the edge of where we were heading to right now. So you want to do your best to slide off forwards and you want to try and hit the middle tile. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on down. Mind the spike trap. Oh, oh dear. Okie doke. So you're just making your way around the lake now to that far corner. And something I just want to say is I don't understand the spike traps. Like, they're so obvious. Like, Sometimes they activate when you're near them. It's like it just ruins the fact that it's a trap. And it's the complete opposite in the original version. You don't even know there's a spike trap there. There is no indication, like no holes in the ground, that there is a spike trap. So I just... It's like it's one extreme to the other. No in-between. <laughs> Thought I was going to overshoot. <laughs> okay, so this jump isn't too tricky. As long as you veer and hit that right on the corner. Okay, so here. Standing jump over there. And again, another one of these jumps, not too tricky. And you've got a spike trap, so you can just hop down and shimmy past that. Okie dokie. So now, come on in here. And you want to ignore that passage on the right. That is a return path, so just follow it all the way to the end. Okay, so we've got some slopes now, and they are pretty easy. Well, easy enough, at least. 
They are relatively straightforward. And then on the last one, grab in the air so you slide all into the gap. And here we have a sun goddess. And we can combine that with the potato that we picked up in part two. And we've got a sun talisman. Look how proud it is of that potato. Anyway, now we have that, we can head on to the exit. So we've got some more jumps now. And again, they are pretty straightforward. The last one though, you will need to veer to one side to hit the slope. So be aware of that. This one and grab in the air. Okay. So here we can again shimmy along the side. In the original version, you cannot. You are forced to do a banana jump, and I thought that was kind of harsh because I'm really rubbish at banana jumps but I actually managed it on either the first or second go. I did well with it. <laughs> so grab the monkey bars, make your way across. You can see the door, we are so close now. And you can also see there is a tile on the ground there that is a spike trap. So as long as you are on the last tile of the monkey bars, you will miss the spike traps. Super duper. So, climb on up. We have a healing plant just up here. Even though we're right at the end. And if this door is not open, you have forgotten to place the jungle stone. It's Gregory! Long time no see, haven't seen you since part two. How you doing buddy? How you been? We've got the sun talisman here for you. There you go. To be continued. So that's it guys and girls, that is the end of Jungle Ruins Next Generation version voted for by you. There is a link to the original version gameplay that I live streamed down in the description and when I got to the end of that game. I was quite surprised to find out there was more gameplay than in this next generation version. The panic was real as I was telling my viewers, bye, thanks for watching. And then it was like, wait, wait, come back, there's more. Oh. So that was pretty funny to discover. <laughs> but now that is it. And I will see you in the next walkthrough.